know it's probably really hard to make it on the camera, but there's a lot of little, very small, look like BBs, and little pellets, almost metallic. And all throughout this rock, there are little shards of metal, it seems like. And there's a really definitive blue streak right here. I don't know what this is, but it's it almost feels like plastic. But yeah, anyway, there's a there's a blue streak there, and it skips. It's almost like it skips, and then it starts right back up here. There's some more blue. This side right here is really rusted. That's really rusty. This does attract a magnet. And right here, you get a lot of metallic-looking little beads. As far as I know, chondrules only exist on meteorites. I even I've been googling and yahooing it all day, and I can only every time I type in chondrule, all that shows up is meteorite. Etc. Etc. Any, anything I try to find out with meteorites, or I'm sorry, earth rocks having chondrules, I can't find anything. It seems I'm either not searching hard enough, or it just doesn't exist. In which case, if these are chondrules, that means this is a meteorite, right? I mean, there's little tiny pellets everywhere, and I know that meteorites aren't supposed to have holes, and I understand that, and that's fine. And this has holes, it seems, all over the place. But this just looks so unique to me. I've never seen a rock like it. I mean, uh, look at this. Some of these beads almost look a little goldish in hue. Yeah, you're probably really not going to be able to make it. I don't have the best camera in the world. This is just cheap digital camera here. But, I mean, there's just metallic little balls everywhere. They're usually actually in the big cavities. That's where the majority of these beads reside. But... Every here and there, there's metallic beads, even if they're not in a hole. There's some good ones right there. There's some really good ones. See, there's one. One, two, three, four, four. There's a bunch of little beads right here in that hole alone. This little cavity, there's a bunch of little tiny beads. There's some in this one. There's a lot right there. There's some big ones. Look at that. Maybe you can see that. See that in that hole right here? You can see that one at the very tip of my finger. That's one of the beads I'm talking about. And there's about five, six more that size in that hole. And then there's one right here. There's a really big one. It looks like a nerd. It's the new flavor. It's gray. And this little bead right here, this little bead looks gold to me. This little bead right there is gold in color. Yellowish hue. I just don't know if this is a meteorite or not. I'm very curious. I'm assuming that since meteorites, and especially big meteorites, are very rare, <coughs> that I'm just going to go ahead and say it's not. But I'm trying to find out. I really don't know. I'd love for it to be a meteorite. That'd be great. But I know they're supposed to be dark and have no holes. And also, like I pointed out also, there is a, every now and again, there's like a weird metal little streak. Here's one. I don't know if you can see that, but right here, there's a little metal streak. I don't know if it's metal, at least. It's a shiny, anyway. Like it stands out from the whole rest of the rock. There's a little glossy, metallic-looking little streak right there. I don't know if you can make that out on camera or not, but. And there's lots of little tiny ones just like that all over this rock. The most significant right here. It almost looks like this something hit it, or this hit something and created almost like it sheared it. Because right here actually right there, the very tip of my finger I know it's hard to see, but at the very top of this particular hole right there, the tip of my finger is this it looks like it was sheared, like something hit it or something cut it. And it, and it goes from right here and right here, almost like something hit it at extremely high speed and just sheared it off. But it looks, it looks shiny, like that part is metallic. And there's also all the little beads around there, actually. There's a very big cavity. There are chondrules. I don't know if I should call them chondrules because I don't know if it's a meteorite, but a lot of little beads in this hole. There's a lot of them. And there's a really big. 
this almost looks like a type of a crust there that's really thin. And there's some more some more blue blue hue color stuff going on there. But yeah, I know I've I'm not a meteorite expert or anything, but I just thought I'd get a video of this and put it on YouTube and get some opinions. Start some riots. There's another little metallic shiny spot there. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. Looks like actually all around that little edge. Looks like something hit it or sheared it a little bit and it's kind of shiny. The rest of the rock is not shiny, it is dull. And right here you got all these little holes, all these little cavities all along the surface of this thing with a little metal, I don't know what's metal, but a little beaded ball in the center of it. There's a good picture of one right there probably. Actually it's not the best, but it's alright. It's a little hole, almost looks like a crater, and inside is a bead. So yeah, I guess I'm just looking for some opinions. Asking the expert audience what they think. Now that actually almost looks green. I haven't looked at it at the light this close. But that actually kind of looks green. Grayish, greenish. But I mean, that right there, that looks like just like a rock. That right there just looks like a regular old rock embedded inside this big rock. So I don't know. And I know this is a big rock, but it seems like it's it's too heavy for its size. I don't really know, man. This thing is pretty heavy. So yeah, what do you guys think?